So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm test riding the uh, Yamaha MT-09 SP. SP denoting sexual performance. <laughs> so I'm on a quick test ride today, so I don't have my uh, fancy camera with me, so I can't do any close-up shots uh, to make it look all funky and jazzy. So this is just a quick test ride, but I can quickly go over some of the... St oh, it's really dirty, actually. Uh, quickly go over some of the stats. It's got an 847cc triple engine. Uh, it's an inline triple CP3 engine. Absolutely bonkers torque on this engine. It's got 115 horsepower at 10,000 RPM and 87.5 Newton meters at 8,500. But when you open that throttle, it feels like the torque is just all at the, all at the low end. So much so that you do have to be a little bit careful riding this, especially in wet conditions. What else? It's got Olin's fully adjustable upside down forks up front, and it's got an Olin's monoshock with a remote preload adjuster, which is here, which looks very nice, very swank. Um, it's got riding modes, it's got ABS, it's got traction control, it's got this weird swing arm number plate holder. It's one of those things you either love it or you hate it. Uh, it's Euro 4 compliant. It's got a quick shifter. It's got this lovely blue paint and it's really sort of uh, got a nice uh, metallic flake to it. So it's really lovely. As I said, this is just a quick test ride. I'm not going to labour on all the technical specs, but uh, I'd rather just go out and ride it and have some fun. Uh, price for the SP is 9399. So that pitches it against the Street Triple R, not the SCR. Uh, the standard MT-09 is 8399, so it's a thousand pound more expensive than the standard MT-09 and you get Olin's forks, Olin's monoshock, uh, you get quick shifter, a nice exclusive paint scheme, and I think that's it, I think those are all the extras, but the suspension is quite an important part of a motorcycle isn't it, so and, uh, yeah this is definitely improved over the previous model, which was again in my opinion too soft. So enough of me waffling, let's go and give it a ride shall we? It's got the offset dash, which is kind of something that the MT-09s do. Uh, here we are, little dancey widdly thing. Let's just clean that off. So what have you got? You've got gear indicator, speed, traction control mode, which engine mode you're in. You've got the mode button here. You've got standard, then A, then B. A is the most aggressive, standard is standard, as you'd imagine, and B is softer. And I have to admit, in the wet, I would be riding this on B. quite a nice induction noise from that nice triple engine. We'll pull away very gingerly and uh, get going. Or we'll just stall the bike. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Right. Seating position is upright but weirdly the seat feels like it slopes forward so all the weight feels like it's kind of just under my happy sacks which is not not all that comfortable for me and it's a soft seat as well but it's just I'm trying to sort of reposition myself but it does seem to pitch you forward into the tank it just seems to put a lot of pressure on the bony part of your bum and uh, my spuds <laughs> Which is not ideal. So I'm just going to do some gentle riding for a minute. What mode are we in? We're in standard mode. The throttle is actually quite nice. It's not snatchy really. It is quite... I'd say it's quite sensitive. But I don't mean snatchy. I mean just you've got to be very aware of how much throttle input you're giving because <laughs> that engine is a talky little beastie. Uh, steering lock is pretty good but as you get towards the lock either side you do start to hit the tank with your thumb. Right. <laughs> that engine has got some torque. Goodness. You definitely have to treat this thing with respect. <laughs> I 
Those brakes have got some power in them. I was worried the brakes wouldn't be that good. But actually, while they do lack an initial bite, the, uh, the power is there when you feed pressure into the lever. And quite a lot of feel, actually. I know people say wooden and they throw this term wooden around quite a lot. But uh, as a road bike, these brakes seem uh, more than adequate. Front lights to come up. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of torque to get you in trouble. Yeah, the throttle response is a bit. Just I just feel a little bit disconnected. Doesn't feel very direct, but it's fairly smooth. It's not like snatchy, so the fueling is pretty good. Whoa! It's just got a lovely wave of torque. Absolutely bonkers torque on this thing. Handles really nicely, actually. That Olin suspension doing a fantastic job. Yeah, definitely enough power in those brakes. Nice feel for your lever as well. I find the quick shifter a little bit snatchy. It's not as smooth as it could be, but it is what it is. And that's a good thing with a, a torque-rich engine. You've just got that power on tap when you need it. Give it a squirt and you dispatch most things. <laughs> just rips your arms off. <laughs> oh, it is fun. It's got enough torque you can just stick it in second when you're doing low speed and it'll just work. So as I said this is not uh, any sort of in-depth review. It's just a quick test ride. So initial thoughts then. Of the MT-09 SP yeah, it's a good little bike actually. It's um, the seat is a bit uncomfortable for me. I know many of you might get on with it, but for me, it's just putting pressure underneath my uh, mandules. So I think on a long journey, I'd probably struggle. But um, engine is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Even in standard mode, it's uh, got as much power as you'd ever need. And while uh, it makes peak torque at eight and a half thousand RPM, it does feel like it kicks in a lot lower. But um, I'm not looking at the rev counter to be honest with you, so it that might be accurate. Probably is. Um, Suspension-wise, uh, this is a fairly bumpy road, and it's a 30, so it's a good test of the low-speed stuff. Uh, I don't think you can hear it in my voice, but it is fairly harsh on the suspension mainly from the front the back seems to be okay but again it's fully adjustable oilings upside down forks so you could certainly fiddle and tweak with that tweak those blue nipples I'm gonna say the gearbox when you're using the clutch is pretty good the quick shifter unless you're really high up in the revs is a bit snatchy but uh, it's just one of those things really aren't BMWs have um, some of the BMWs have fairly aggressive quick shifters, and I think um, inline fours probably do the best job of using quick shifters because they've got more less of a pulse effect. Brakes are pretty good. And what do I mean by pretty good? Not as much initial bite as I'd like, but they have plenty of stopping power. Don't you go there. Things do get a bit vibey up the top end, up towards the top end. <clears throat> I don't know whether you could fix that with some heavier bar end weights, maybe. 
lovely noise from that engine and uh, with an exhaust that would sound absolutely sweet quite a lot of transmission wine as well actually I mean fourth gear doing four and a half thousand and there's quite quite a distinct transmission noise quite whiny it looks good it looks absolutely fantastic this bike really aggressive love the headlights love that short stubby tail uh, looks are very subjective you either love it or you hate it and I love it the dash is simple but clear it's actually quite small though uh, offset dash it's it's all right I'm not over the moon about that but it's got everything there that you need but it, I guess you could say it is a little bit compact cramped perhaps but uh, overall it's a fantastic bike really really aggressive punchy handles pretty well a lot better than the stock version I guess my only slight concern with this bike would be that uh, it's uh, it feels a little bit unbalanced so it feels like all the weight is at the back and the front is a little bit flighty I mean it makes it fun but if you were trying to say do a track day and come out the corner with a lot of power it just it kind of squats down a lot and it's a it's not a feeling I'm used to and it's a bit odd I mean you know, obviously bikes do squat down when you're on the power but this squats down like more than I'm a, a lot more than I'm used to uh, my left thigh my, my left calf is actually getting quite toasty which is again something I'm not not used to price wise it's 9399 which pitches it directly against the uh, Triumph Street Triple R, the 765. And that's, I think actually that the Triumph is 99 pounds cheaper. Um, I've not ridden that bike yet, so I think they're around about the same horsepower. I think the Triumph has got 123 and this is 115. But uh, I'll, I'll have to get a ride on one of those and see what I think. Yeah, overall, great fun bike. Get yourself a test ride on one. Thank you very much to the motorbike shop in Farnborough for allowing me to have a test ride on this. For all your Yamaha needs, get yourself down to them. They'll sort you out. And as usual, if you haven't subscribed and you do enjoy my content, please do go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff on the horizon. It's a very dusty road here. A lot of stuff coming up that's quite exciting for me anyway and hopefully for you viewers follow me on instagram as well you'll get like the inside scoop on what i'm up to what i'm testing where i'm at and where i'm at Ooh. and uh, as always ride safe peace and just quickly before i end the video slow speed stuff it does it very very well very composed you just got to be really careful with that throttle hand <laughs> or maybe even put it in b mode if you know you're going to be doing slow speed stuff just whack it over into b mode or keep it in a and just wheelie everywhere 